Hi, I'm Nasmal Hassan. In this tutorial, you will learn how to plot input impedance of a series RLC resonance circuit in cadence virtue so. If we have a resonance circuit as shown in this figure, which is a series RLC resonance circuit driven by a sinusoidal source denoted by V with a source resistor RS. So RS is an internal resistance which is, uh, which is actually called port resistor for VNA, Vector Network Analyzer. And in RF industry, this RS is assumed to be 50 ohm. So it's a good point to be remembered. Anyway, we can calculate the resonance frequency for this circuit as shown in this formula. And if we assume that uh, L equal to 10 nanohenry and the cap equal to 3 picofarad, then the circuit can be resonated at 918 megahertz. And you can assume that R is equal to internal resistance of the source, which is 50 ohm. Um, if you want to understand the frequency behavior of this series or else a circuit, you may want to analyze it in terms of its input impedance. So input impedance is the impedance that you see from its source side, which is Z in in this case. And Z in is a frequency dependent parameter. As you can see, um, it has a frequency dependent parameter XL minus XC, and both of which are dependent on frequency. So, if you want to plot Z in with respect to frequency, you can do it in cadence virtues so by running S parameter and then plotting the Z parameter. So, let's see how we can plot this Z in in cadence virtues. So. So open a new schematic window in Cadence Virtuoso and then go to create new instance. And here type the library name analog lib. The first element I want to include is a resistor. And I will use variable in order to I mean denote the value of this element. So I would like to rotate this resistor. All right, now, next element is a cap, so just type CAP. And let's use a variable C for its value. And I'd like to rotate it. And then I need an inductor. IND for inductor. And let's use L for its value. These are variable that I can assign uh, values later. And finally, I need a port because I'm going to use this parameter in cadence. And port has a resistance, you can see a resistance. Um, this is treated as the source register. So I will use a variable RS. And this is a sinusoidal source type. And finally, I need a ground in the circuit. So type GND. OK. OK. So you can close this window. And now I'd like to connect all these elements by using where. There and then this ground and here. All right. Now the circuit is complete. <coughs> Now we can run the S parameter simulation to find out the 
uh, input impedance behavior with respect to frequency for that launch the analog design environment ADEL so from here and select copy from cell view and it will load all the variables that you have declared in the schematic now you can assign values say we will assign the cap value as 3 pico so just write 3p and for inductor value i will use 10 nano entry and for the resistor both of the resistors i'll use 50 ohms all right now let's select the simulation engine i will use as parameter and i have to use uh, select the port from here so just press select button and select this port from the schematic window now you can see the port has been selected here and i'm going to sweep the frequency so select frequency as the sweeping variable and define the start frequency as one megahertz so big m is for megahertz and let's define the stop frequency as 2 gig so 2g with a sweep type of linear steps and let's define the step size as 10k so 10k all right the rest of the settings look fine um, yeah, so just press OK button. So uh, now we are ready to simulate the circuit. Just press this green button. Anyway, uh, simulation is done. Now I'd like to plot the input impedance versus frequency. So go to direct plot and then main form. Okay, so I'd like to first see S parameter. So select SP and DB20. And then you, you can enable this, then it will appear in the output and press this S11 button. There you have this one one plot, it's a sharp resonance around um yeah 918 megahertz. So it's perfect as we expected. Right? So this is the S11 plot. Now let's uh, plot the input impedance versus frequency for that you have to plot a Z parameter so select ZP and from here I'd like to separately plot the real and imaginary part of Z11 Z11 is basically the Z input impedance so for the real part press real and select Z11 and it will provide you the real part this is the real part is 50 ohm now for the imaginary let's plot it there so you can separate these two windows and move to a new sub window move to a new sub window and also this one Okay, so the input impedance, uh, the input, the real part of the input impedance remains 50 ohms. So we can see the plot is flat. As for the imaginary part of the input impedance, it does change. Um, but let's uh, rescale this axis 
in order to visualize it in a better way. So go to access properties. Um, scale. Select manual. And let's say minus 500 and the maximum value in the y-axis is 50 with a step value of let's say 100 I press apply yeah now you can see the plot in a better way okay Ta style is solid So um, uh, you can see around 918, it should be almost zero. Yeah, this point. So 120 milli, almost zero at this point. Uh, anyway, uh, around the resonance frequency, we have almost zero ohms. So the reactive part is zero at the resonance because right at this frequency the inductive reactance equals to the capacitive reactance that's why they cancel each other and we have a zero reactive port right at this resonance frequency but below the resonance uh, the inductive uh, the reactive port is negative that means it's capacitive and above the resonance the reactive part is positive, which means an inductive circuit. So, our simulation verifies the theory. So that's how you can plot the input impedance versus frequency in cadence virtue. So, thank you very much for watching this tutorial.